Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today in my garden. Today we're going to be planting all of these great plants that we received at our Youth Garden Educator Training. But first, we have a few garden chores to take care of. So come on, let's have some fun in the garden. So we're going to start by working in my garden journal. We're going to plan out where each of our veggies will go in our garden beds. Our raised beds are 4 feet by 8 feet, so 1 inch will represent 1 foot in our garden bed. In our first bed, we want 6 broccoli, 6 red cabbage, 1 cucumber, and 1 brussels sprout. It is recommended that broccoli, cabbage, and brussels sprouts be planted 18 to 24 inches apart, and cucumbers need about 2 feet by 2 feet. We're going to experiment in this bed and give each broccoli and cabbage about 18 inches of space, and the cucumber and the brussels sprouts will get about 2 feet of space. In our second garden bed, we will be planting six broccoli and six cheers head cabbage. In this garden bed, we'll be giving our plants a little more space to encourage the plants to grow larger broccoli and cabbage heads. More space for our broccoli will allow more side shoots to grow. Now let's do the same thing for bed three. Cool, now it's time to head outside. But wait, we notice that our soil is looking dry and not very healthy. How can we fix this? Let's add about three inches of compost to amend the soil. We can use a rake to mix it in with the existing soil and spread out evenly over the raised bed. Now let's get our fertilizer. You may have a different type than me, but we always want to follow directions on our fertilizer bottles and only put the appropriate amount. We are going to use a measuring cup to accurately measure the amount of fertilizer we apply. We want to use a fertilizer that is specifically made for the types of plants in our garden. In this case, we want a vegetable type fertilizer. Gently rake into the top soil. Now we're ready for planting. We're going to use a measuring tape to help us keep our plants properly spaced out. Our garden spade will help us dig our holes. We need to measure first and using our garden spade, we can mark the soil where we plan to plant our broccoli. Then we can gently take our broccoli out by squeezing the bottom of the pot and holding it upside down. We want to see moist peat pots and healthy roots. We're going to plant the broccoli to a depth between the top of the peat pot and the purple hue of the broccoli stem. Not any deeper or it could cause rotting of the stem. Now let's do the same with our red cabbage. Okay, now it's our cucumber's turn. We notice that our cucumber is a bit overgrown. It even has a few tiny cucumbers on it already. We're going to leave those on the plant. In a week, we will check on them to see how they're doing, and if they begin to rot, we will need to remove them. When we pack our cucumber roots down, we need to gently leaf the leaves. We are using a cage to train the cucumber to grow vertically. This will help prevent the leaves from touching the soil, minimizing soil-related diseases, and it'll make it easier to harvest the cucumbers later. Okay, it's Brussels sprout time. Don't forget to apply the liquid fertilizer. Again, we want to follow directions on the bottom and dilute it with a gallon of water. Then gently apply the mixture around the plants. We'll be doing this step once a week for the next three weeks. Finally, a good drink of water for the plants. They will need to be watered every day until our new plants become properly established in the garden bed. We want to make sure we are watering around the plant and not on top of the tiny transplant. This could damage the plant. Be careful. Ready to plant bed two and three? We are sure to follow the same steps we took in our first bed. Now back to our garden journal. We are making note of how much fertilizer we used and the type. On our next page in our garden journal, we'll remind us of the chores for the following week. We need to water every day, apply liquid fertilizer once a week, watch for cabbage loopers, and pull out any weeds. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me today in planting our garden. I hope you learned a few tips and tricks to make your garden that much more successful. So your garden might not look like mine. You might be planting different vegetables or maybe some flowers in your garden beds. Just be sure to give your plants enough space, nutrients, air, water, and sunlight to grow. Be sure to like and subscribe our My Extension 210 YouTube channel, and we'll check you guys out in our next video. Happy gardening.